We're all falling and we need a place to hide A safe place somewhere in the woods We can start a fire All we know is what will be our home We will stay until the break of dawn Going for some coffee Best coffee you can get Takes us to a place to escape the chill Tucked up somewhere in the woods on a hill Wake up feeling the cold in between our toes Is there a way How's it guys? We just got to Ermelo. Uh, we're just gonna grab another coffee. Starting to get tired again. Uh, so yeah, wimpy coffee will will do the thing. Uh, I think we've got another 300 kilometers before we hit Kamati Port. We'll get some groceries, get some beers, and then uh, we'll go through to the Crocodile Bridge. Apparently the gate is reopened after the floods, so it's in our benefit. And then from there on, we'll go through to Lowasabi, and that will be our final destination. So we finally got to our destination, Crocodile Bridge. Um, we went to Kumati Poor to get some groceries, some biltong, and uh, we had to go to the pharmacy, get some painkillers for Annika. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's humid. Um, we actually went through a big thunderstorm, so we've been delayed, but yeah. We are safe and sound, so now we're gonna get through to our final destination, Lower Sabi, and unpack the car and get everything ready and just have an ice cold brandy. <laughs>
up guys so we have finally reached our destination for the next six nights so I just want to quickly give you a tour of how it looks it's very basic but I'm sure you'll enjoy it okay so there's Quinson throwing himself his first brandy for the evening so we have a fridge it's pretty basic it's got a fridge and a deep freeze we've got a aircon that's I don't know if it's even working. Some packing space, two single beds. We have a basin, mirror, dustbin, brana vein. And when you go out, it's you've just got two chairs, a table, a braai, which will probably start lighting up in the next few minutes. And yeah, we have so much packing out to do. This is basically how it looks outside. You call it an Afrikaans, it's a rondavel, but well, in English you just call it a hut. Uh, so we're just going to start unpacking. And as you can see, we have a lot of stuff to pack out. So I think we'll just get straight into that. Good morning guys, so this is day two in the Kruger Park. So we've just left Lower Sabi on our way to Skukuza and it's pissing with rain. But we've been lucky to see a kilometer away from Lower Sabi Gate. We've got our first two lines. I don't know if you can see them on a the GoPro, but you can well, quickly have a look. Okay, so the first male is right about there. And he's just basically hiding away from the rain. And if you go further, about, let's say 10 meters, right about in there, there's another male. He's also just hiding away from the rain. So I guess we were very lucky because it's highly unlikely to actually see lions, especially in this weather. So we were very lucky this morning, right there. So this is Sunset Dam and it's very very close to Lower Sabi as well.
baby little hyenas. morning guys so it's on day three in the Kruger Park as you can see the sun is busy coming up we've decided to head out early go have a picnic at a picnic spot and um, yeah hopefully we can get some nice game this time of the day Hanika sitting in a car we want to fuel up but there's no one here so I don't know what we're gonna do